Ready? Go! 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 Oi! 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 More energy! More energy! More power! Oi! 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 Yeah! More energy! More energy! More power! Oi! Oi! That was mad! More passion! More passion! Let me say that footwork! 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 Give it to them! Give it to them! Give it to them! More passion! More energy! More passion! More energy! More energy! More energy! Oi! 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 Okay, I don't know what... It, whatever it is, it's not right on the teleprompter. I don't know what that is. I've never seen that. No, there is. We are going to do Sting, yeah. Okay, but... Okay. This, yeah, I can't read it. There's no, there's no words on it. Okay. Ready? Sure. There's yeah. no words there to play us out. What does that mean, to play us out? It's, it's Sting is going to do, it's a video, Sting video. What okay. is, for credits. I don't know what that means, to play us out. What does that mean? To end the show? Yeah, yeah. All right, go, go. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it. Okay. In five. Four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a. I, I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. No. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. Right. Fucking thing sucks. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! We obviously didn't communicate clearly. We had to discuss your surrender, not mine. Tú eres tan romántico molestando con una vipa. Me pregunta si te quiero. Yo te digo que no estoy lista y no quiero comenzar. No hay nada que empezar. Yo te dejaré atrás. Mientras gano más y más, no estás en mi nivel y tú no eres obligación, no estás motivada y tú aburres mi corazón, eres un idiota sin inteligencia y razón, entonces déjame tranquila y te arriba tu canción. Tú eres tan romántico como el santo, una ripa me pregunta si te quiero y yo te digo que no estoy lista y no quiero comenzar, no hay nada que empezar, yo te dejaré atrás, mientras gano. What is up, everybody? It is your boy, Luis Martinez, a.k.a. Big Chief Burrito, live with you on a Wednesday? Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. We're day. I'm day. Yeah. And on Wednesdays, we wear pink sometimes. Yes. I put pink on. Uh, me hent this show live and direct from the San Diego. Listen, we're. Listen, we're glitching. Bo- we're glitching. We're, we're glitching. We're it's it's not the right day. It's we're both a little bit under the weather. Yeah, mm-hmm. through the through the magia of cafe. Oh yes. We're gonna push through. Um, but um big show today. Uh live and direct here on a Wednesday, San Diego, California. Sofia Carrillo, myself, Luis Martinez, uh Mi gente show by Latinos for everyone. How do you like that new uh how do you like that kind of catchphrase there? Oh, by Latinos for everyone. I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Ooh, <coughs> a new background. Bit. Okay, yeah, no more spectacular. October's over, first yes, of all. Probably. Yes, I was right. We had a, I remember we like this a little bit better, a little bit kinder, gentler. Uh, yeah, a little bit. It's well. still fall, so you know, some, it's still fallish, yeah. fallish. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're here. Uh anyway, we're waiting. We're um, I guess our guest might have had some connection issues because I think he's gonna be trying to come back on right now. Personal um, news for now. Personal news for now. Um, we are live and barely alive here mm-hmm. in San Diego. <laughs> personal news yeah. is that I am um I lost my voice almost completely a couple of days ago. What happened? I, um, you know, I think it's a combination of the weather change mm-hmm. and my allergies. I see our guest is backstage, so we'll get to him in a second. Um, just allergies, a weather change, and just probably caught a bug all at the same time. I was mm-hmm. a little bit out of it. I took a couple of days off last week. Um, and then Monday came and I felt really good. I got up, I did my day job, I did good at it, I was able to work. And then I had a karaoke gig Monday night. Mm-hmm. Had a few drinks, sang a few, a lot of songs, woke up yesterday, and it was just like, ah, done. Yeah, yeah I pushed it too far. I, I overextended my, my instrument, as Uh-oh. we say, <laughs> you know. And then uh, today I also took the day off, just rested, but the show must go on. Um, mm-hmm. Wearing a collared shirt because I had to go to a... Uh, celebration of life event. I had to make a stop by. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, yeah. Juana, a friend, colleague of ours that's been on the show, that's a colleague. Um, she did a sketch and a show called La Comadre Pancha. She also did uh, Living with Latinos, a YouTube series that got millions of views. Um, she was a great collaborator, promoter, host at the San Diego Latino Film Festival last year. Passed away recently a few weeks back and we were all very saddened to hear about that today was a little um a little celebration of life by a show she used to work on called tonight in san diego um at um uh i don't know the name of the place but it was on commercial street so i came back from that to the show Mm -hmm. came by i wanted to say hi pay my respects yeah, so course. you know i might play a couple of her little videos later on or, we, should. Or next week. we should just you know in remembrance of her but she was a great great person great actress um and uh her commitment to the bit was exemplary today i had to leave because the show must go on but you know for all of us that uh entertain either for a living or because we're called to do it um, her commitment to collaboration, to to trying to make people laugh, to, to trying to yeah. make the world a funnier place was commendable. And the world is a little less funny today without her. So my condolences to her friends and families. May her memory be a blessing to all of you. And, um, you know, I know you you were you were fond of her as well. Oh, man. Yeah, this one. This one hit me. It, it was so weird because when you told me I, I I was in shock, I literally was just I was like, she was just in a comment section on Instagram the other day. What do you What do you mean? What? Yeah. Um, I had, yeah. I it's it's unbelievable. I, I wish I would have been able to go earlier. Um, no. it's one of those losses where, man, she was just such a vibrant personality, and I, you know, was so lucky that we got to work so closely with her in the San Diego Latino Film Festival this last year because. She was just one of those people that I was really looking forward to collaborating more with in the future. Um, mm-hmm. Just a, such a bright light and literally not a negative thing could be said about her. She she was amazing. And it's a tragedy that she is gone far too soon. Um, so, yeah. All right. Um, anything else in personal news for you, Sophia? Um, so... <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm coming down with something. 
Mm-hmm. And I'm on day one, like literally today, I just woke up a little foggy, but I was like, you know what? It's fine. I'll go to work. Totally good. And I was just like a corpse. And by lunchtime, I, my, my body was like, I started shivering and I went to the car to take a nap. And I was like, I'm sick. I'm, I'm very, I'm sick. I took a COVID test. It was negative. All right. But I'm calling out, out of work tomorrow and we shall see what this weekend has in store. My body is just telling me. Take it easy. Yeah. Take it easy. Take it Don't- easy. Take my advice. Don't go do karaoke. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll try not try, to. Try not <laughs> to. I'll try not to. All right, guys. Yeah, All right. Uh, so, okay. Excellent. So let's get on to our main topic yeah. of the day because keep our um, waiting. let us not keep our guests waiting because, um, and I'm going to share a couple of things that happen here once he gets on. But essentially, um, the story that we're going to cover today, tonight, is sort of our San Diego minute because it is, uh, you know, it's San Diego and it's art related. Um, but let's bring him on so we can introduce him and talk to him. Let's bring on uh, Dentlok. Dentlok. How's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for having uh, me. Absolutely, man. You guys can find him on Instagram at uh, Dentlok Tattoo Arts. He is a tattoo artist, an artist, a muralist, mm-hmm. a painter, um, community activist, and, and he does a lot of stuff here locally in San Diego. So walk us through, walk us through, I'm going to pull up some of the videos that you sent me, uh, but essentially just to give people the really brief rundown so they're aware, um, you were commissioned or were part of a team that put together um, a mural commemorating some uh, some Latino wrestlers, some Mexican-American wrestlers, featuring obviously local uh, San Diego product, Rey Mysterio. Um, take us to how that project started and how you became involved with that and, and, and ultimately what happened with it. All right. Well, yeah, you know, I was so my my friend uh, Larry from SD Rider. He he ran into Ruben Torres from the Love That Neighbor, and Ruben shared to him that he had an idea in which he wanted to uh, to portray the legacy of Rey Mysterio and his link his links to San Diego. And um, my friend Larry thought of me. He gave me a call. He told me somebody. I got an idea for you. Once he explained to me what he had in mind, man, my mind was racing. I was ready to do it. There was no. I I had already a vision. So I reached out to Ruben Torres, talked to him about it. He said he he said he was cool with me doing it. That was a cool idea because that's what he, he was looking for an artist to do it for him. And then now the next that. The next thing to do was being able to find uh, the wall. So I, by faith, I guess, you know, I got dropped off in front of that wall. I was on my way to do a, a meeting for, for another mural. And I looked at that wall and my, you know, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's my wall. So that's that's where it's got to go, you know? And so I, I was early to my to my meeting, so I made some time to go with him. I I, thought, I looked for the owner, introduced myself to him, and told him, "Look, I have this idea. You know, we want I want this this ball, and I want to put Ray Mysterio on it." And the guy, he was, he was super cool. You know, he was like, "Oh, that's cool. That's a good idea." Don't have to ask his dad about it. And so, um, once he told me. He, the next day, I sent him a message because I didn't see him, and uh, he told me it was a go. So I got together with uh, Ruben Torres from Love the Neighbor, SD Riders, the Logan High Street, and then we had um, Hillips come in too. And they all just couldn't do community organizations. They all contributed for the paint and all the materials that I needed to do the wall. And that the process took five months to do. I started in like October. About this last, it's been a year since I started in Europe. I think it's oh. February. Things breaking up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, you hear me now? Yeah, 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 yeah. You bring it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 keep okay. going. We'll try to push through it. Okay, so right. Ruben Torres, love thy neighbor. You see the wall. You start the process. You get the okay from the building owners, and it's a five-month process. You get some of the the the, the paint and the stuff donated, and then you get to work, right? Yeah, that started working for five months. Five so months. It was between jobs and work, you know. Yeah, it took a while. 
and it was a lot of work, you know. And I had help my daughters. Like the first day was my daughters, my wife, my friends uh, from SC Riders. They came and they helped me start buffing the wall. And then from there, it just it was like one day at a time, you know, piece by piece, and started from there. And so it, it it finally did. And it was it was standing. I was getting a good feedback from it. There was people that were going over to take pictures filming music videos in front of it. And this is right before Ray Mysterio like shouted it out. I was made known that he was aware of the mural. As a, his son's father-in-law lives in the area. So he walked oh. by and saw the mural, sent it to Dominic. Dominic showed his dad and then they knew what the mural was. Oh, that's dope. Well, uh-huh. Here's some pictures. You still- yeah, can you see, people see that right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, we're, so we're you can see. Oh, you see Conan, Rey Mysterio Sr. I see my one, Ruben Torres. Ruben. That's yeah. everybody can. Yeah, so uh, Conan and Rey, and Rey Mysterio Sr. came down uh, about a month I think it's about six weeks ago, give or take. And they did that live. You know, they came to sign hands, to sign everything they should can. The pictures with Mother Water Bowl in the since they all pop the uh the Mysterio legacy. You know, we have uh Ray Singer who had a Ray Mysterio how to wrestle and gave him his name. That's what his name now is Ray Mysterio. I used to be a mm-hmm. colibri mm-hmm. when he came to the when he came to the United States States to wrestle thanks to Conan, because he's the one that opened the door and said, I'm gonna and, you know, he came along and he did his thing, and that's when he changed his name to Ray Mysterio. But since I think I believe the thing is they they misspelled it, they try to spell mystery, and then they mm-hmm. just put the O, and then he just ran with it because it worked out. It looked it cool, worked. So. Yeah, the legend was born. Yeah. All right, I'm, exactly. All right, all right. I'm gonna play this other video that we have here. So. He comes out, there's a whole event, there's videos, there's people there. It's bringing awareness to the community that's to the point where he even talked about it on, uh, on I think it was on ESPN or on Fox or one of these major sports shows. So I'm going to play that clip for you guys right now. Give me a second. Yeah, that was the MMA hour. That it is, you know, uh, a lot of Latinos are, I mean, that's our yeah, backyard. Right, right, right. You know, it was cool to see stuff like that just around the world overall is, is really cool. It's amazing. How I've never heard anyone say anything bad about you. Oh. Is this the same video? I think so. Uh, you posted, or someone posted, you guys can hear like that? there's this huge yeah. mural, yeah, okay. mural of you in San yeah. Diego. They just did that, yes. Wow, yeah. who did that? Uh, thank. Uh, like, did you know that they were going to do it? So, so I knew that they had done it and they were going to. We're looking at it right here. There it is. Yeah, you're coming oh, up. I was one of my homies knows the uh, the guy that that did the. He's a tattoo artist. Look Incredible, at that. Huh? That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, Have you seen it in person? No, I haven't been to San Diego recently, so uh, I know my uncle's on there. Um, Matt one. Wow. Dom. You know, we just missed uh, one guy. Psychosis. Ah, uh, yeah. He, should, he would have been Legend. good. Yeah. Legend. Maybe they can add him in. What is that like seeing that? Oh, it's awesome. That's awesome, and especially uh, in the area that it is. You know. Uh, a lot of Latinos are. I mean, that's our backyard. Right, right, right. You know, it's cool to see stuff like that just around the world overall is, is really cool. It, it's amazing how I've never heard anyone say anything bad about you. Mm. All right. So Ray goes on. He, he talks and about that it. That was right? the next day. Yeah, that was the really? next day. That, that day before that interview came on Tuesday and the mirror was painted over Wednesday. What? All in the span of the same week? Yeah, on oh, no. oh. like less than twenty four hours. Damn, how so, long ago was was this? Uh, I think it's been uh, two weeks now. Two weeks now, damn. Yeah. Okay. So the the murals up. It's a great success. We're talking about it all over the place. It's bringing you know eyes. People are coming by the community. What was the explanation that was given to you? Was there any explanation? Was there any heads up? Like, hey, you might want to come take some pictures of this. Was there anything that was told to you before the mural was painted over? Uh, yeah, uh, Ruben found out that the building was sold. And so 
and that was uh, like three months. Like, you know, it was two weeks before we did the event with the old game because as soon as we found out, then Ruben said, let's, we, let's move it. We got to do something with this wall before anything happens to it. And so within those two weeks, we organized that event, and we had Conan and Ray Mysterio Sr. come. Mm-hmm. Had the lowriders, we had people out there. I'm sure there was over 100 people there that day. You know, mm-hmm. lowriders, bikes, and we were shooting a music video for Man 1. Yeah, it was a really good experience out there. Cool. And and then the next day the video is out, and then the next day they paint it. They paint it over. What was, what was your? I mean, you knew it was gonna happen, but when you actually saw it like that, what was your like guttural reaction to that? Was it just like heartache? Was it pain? Was it anger? A mix of those things. I, yeah, you know, my stomach dropped. Mm-hmm. You know, like going on the roller coaster. Yeah. Like, yeah, stay behind. I was like, oh man, I was just, I just. I was on my way to talk to the owner that day. I'm gonna go talk to him today. I gotta go find this guy and talk to him. And it was done. Oh my god! Damn. My yeah, the, my wife. Um, she takes the kids to school through in, through the street with to Imperial. Mm-hmm. So on her way there, the mural was still there. And that was about 7:45 a.m. I got there at 10 a.m. So within those two hours, it was the guy made me. So we we're like, man, and I was sad. I was mostly sad because disappointed because it was starting to catch up. You know, it was starting to go mm-hmm. big, and I was excited for what was gonna come with it. And then they just, they just took it. Basically, it, had, it was gone. It had gone viral. It had been been on national television. It was it was not only for you but for ray to you know get some extra attention on him and the other wrestlers just to start that conversation bringing awareness yeah. and eyes to the neighborhood stuff like that obviously yeah. uh from even from an aesthetic standpoint like even if you even if you're like hey i bought this building um no matter what you're going to do with it it does it makes zero sense to be like I would rather have this painted an ugly ass white than have this beautiful ass mural. Mural, on there. yeah. That I didn't have to like to do the, the. Did the owner know how much, how much you 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 charge for murals? If anything, it's like, free publicity. It's you're basically you know. you're you're burning like a few thousand dollars right there. Like just just off top, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense aesthetically. It doesn't make sense from a business perspective. It just it's it feels like a Disney villain, you know, did yeah. it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I feel bad, man. I like, it, it looks for the last two weeks it's looked like that. Yeah. There was a about ten feet over in the same wall, there was a tag. And it's still there. He he had to leave that tagging on there and then and it, he rather what? left that there. Yeah, you- I was so oh it was exactly. bad to leave. Was he like a WCW fan or something? What the hell's going on here? <laughs> I, mean, I, don't know, I don't know. How can you not love wrestling? I, I think everybody, yeah. almost every culture, can get into it. You know, they represent mm-hmm. everybody. Listen, I was, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm old school wrestling fan. My favorite wrestler was uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, uh. boy, <laughs> who still teaches, I think, up in Oceanside or something. He's got like a wrestling thing going on. Um, so for me, I was like, man, this is a cool ass motif. It's a cool ass vibe to have people here. Um, when you eventually did, when you went down there, did you get to talk to the owner or, or was he not available to you? Nah, there was no, you know, well, I did, or was, you know, I, I didn't even try to go and look in that day. I was just, you know, hmm. I was like, what am I going to do now? You know, cause I had to call, you know, the first one I called was my wife I had to let her know first. And then after that, I went and I called Ruben and talked to him about it. And then we, we talked about you know, legal stuff, moving on. And then I went to look for, for counsel. You know, I went to look for the OGs. So I called uh, Victor mm-hmm. Ochoa. And I called Victor Ochoa. I was like, hey, they just painted my wall. He tells me, hey, I'm at the park. Come over. So I went from there. I went straight to Chicano Park. And I went to talk to Victor Ochoa. I talked to my Torero. And, and they all they all gave me insight, you know. They, Mario Torero really changed the point of view, like the way I was feeling about it, you know. He what he told me it's like this is this is what you want as an artist. You 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 have to want that your art creates something, 
that is start something. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's just creating an opportunity for you to grow. You know? Yeah. 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 That's the, you know. I, after that, I switched my mentality about it. I decided to look at it as an opportunity to create something bigger. Yeah. And so that's why, like, it gave me, it landed perfectly on that. And then that's what I'm trying to do with it, you know, trying to, trying to make it something bigger. Whether or not we get the wall back or, or we can find another wall, you know, I want to share it. Maybe somebody will give me a bigger wall and I mm -hmm. could do it bigger and then I could do it better. I could add psychosis like you wanted to. I could add yeah. POD. You know, POD does did like the team song for him for a long time. They they co-work with Mad One. So there's a lot of more people from San Diego, from this city that we could throw up there to represent, you know, that. I yeah. think anybody, everybody could appreciate what they did. Who doesn't know <laughs> POD? Yeah, ab <laughs> absolutely. All right, we're live talking with Dentlock, um, Muralist here in San Diego about um you know the what happened with his his Rey mysterio mural um but you know like like you said um and when i found out about it i said you know let's have you on the show let's come talk about it let's raise some awareness about it so it happened you talk to the ogs you talk to the people you get a different perspective on it so moving forward and by the way you know this mural is still up right this one's still up right Oh. Yeah, that one is. Yeah. Okay, got it. So you guys can go watch, go catch some of Dentlock's work here at um, in in Barrio Logan, and he's got murals all over the place, and you can That's check amazing. out his work and stuff like that. So, you know, they're not going to hold you down for long, obviously. But mm -hmm. like I said, moving forward, after we learn from this, then you know, we talked a little bit at the event in Barrio Logan the other day. What is the community doing coming together so that this doesn't happen again? What is it? What it, What are the takeaways and what are the, the, the learning points that we need to take away from this so that moving forward, uh, people have their bases covered, they have their legals covered, you know, so that it doesn't happen again? Well, yeah, that's where this, you know, that's where this thing started, you know, uh, Mario Toledo. He's had a few pieces get destroyed and because of this, he's already organized. And so when I came to him with this, he get the, him and his wife came up with the plan. And then it just landed perfectly with us because we came together. And then we're going to push to create an organization that takes care of the murals, that maintains them, that arranges, arranges mm -hmm. contracts between artists and owners. So that everybody gets a fair trade, you know what I mean? Owners get to yeah. say stuff on their property, but so do artists, and then we get to educate artists about their rights because there's there's laws to protect the uh, the street art. You know, mm -hmm. they now especially in California, it's been such a big thing. They there's there's strong things that help, and I think a lot of artists don't know, a lot of others don't know. Like I'm not aware if this guy knows that by him destroying and painting over my mural, he broke my rights. You know. Mm -hmm. And by California law, I'm protected for it. So he's liable for something. What it is, not sure. It's, uh, it's, it's a different process, uh, but we got to figure hey, that's, out. That's for the lawyers to figure yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, we got to figure that out later. But we got we got some we got some litigious homies out there that can help out with that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, send them over. Uh, we're, we're having a meeting September 9th at the San Diego, San Diego Maid Factory. Yeah. Uh, with, with Mario Torero and his wife, and we're trying to bring the community, trying to bring as many artists as we can, anybody that's willing to come and help out and, and help us create this. So that it doesn't happen again, you know, so it doesn't yeah. happen to anyone else because it sucks, you know, you put all this effort, you put all this, you know, all this money. I, out of this wall, I didn't get any money out of it. It was all just donate. It's like donate. I just, I saw the dream. I saw the potential of what I what I could achieve with this wall, mm -hmm. and and I took it. I said, I'm, "I'm gonna do this. I, I got it." And yeah, what yeah, and you and you crushed it, man. Thank you for everybody for stopping by. Uh, Nagula, our people saw it and are talking about it. It's mm -hmm. always a positive. Yeah. Absolutely, uh, Melissa Hinton uh, W. Yeah, we're we're. It's. I mean, you it's gotta take it as person. definitely. Definitely is a win. Hey, you guys that are stopping by for the first time, go ahead and leave a leave a like on that stream or give us a, a subscription, a follow. It helps us out a lot. Um, and and you said that's November 9th, then look. Yes, it is. Yeah. 
Okay, mm -hmm. so November 9th, uh, happening where? At uh, the San Diego Made Factory. San Diego Made Factory? Got yeah, it. Yeah, Trevor, it's right behind, it's a commercial avenue right behind the Walmart. I don't mm -hmm. have the address. Okay. San Diego uh, May Factory, November 9th. We will make sure that we add the information to the description of this episode. And when we drop the audio only version, we'll also put it in there so people can follow us. We'll also be posting about it and make sure that you guys go follow at Dent Love Tattoo Arts on Instagram and Facebook. And you'll be able to, uh, to check in and, and we, we're uh, be more aware. Um, so we're very happy. You know, I mean, Hopefully out of, you know, something like this, uh, a positive can come out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Anything anything that we can do at Mi Gente Show to help promote that once we guys are up and running. Is this is this kind of is this um, is this sort of similar to what they do like in Chicano Park or are, are all the murals there sort of managed by the like the park administration for that? Is that is a difference, right? Because that's kind of like an organization that just deals with the park only. Yeah, yeah. They have their own committee and it. They, mm -hmm. they, they deal themselves out, you know. I'm not sure okay. how it, it works there, but there's a chain of command from what I understand, and then they all talk to each other. It's, okay. it's pretty cool. But when you're doing mm -hmm. it on commercial properties, even though it's in the neighborhood, you still have to sort of go through the ins and outs of getting the permissions, making sure that you're covered, stuff like that, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, I guess the point you get to have insurance on yourself, bigger projects, bigger companies, so you're part of it to have insurance. Right, you know, so that that's when it becomes like a major business. It's easier to just go, but it's better now. Not on that, that I know it's to have a contract and just have one hey, sign this contract, and then you allow me to paint this wall, and you allow for this painting to be on this wall for a certain amount of time yeah. so that it's on there. It's just it'll be better for the artist, yeah, absolutely. All right. And then you can still catch a lot of Dentlux work all over San Diego. Tell us a little bit about this piece here. Oh, okay. So this is a Katrina. Yeah. It's one of it's one of three that I'm painting with the students over the over at Millennial Middle School, Millennial Technologies Middle School. Mm -hmm. Right here on the on market next to Gumpers. Oh. So Tuesdays and Thursdays I'm running in an art art class, like art program with the students where I've been oh. teaching them. During school, it's like the last period for last period. They come in and then I, and I've been able to teach them how to draw, you know, drawing techniques, shading techniques, proportions, like everything. So on that picture, the students did all I did was the face. They did mm -hmm. all the flowers. They did all the background. We we painted that wall together. Oh, it's you know. amazing. Uh, they all split up themselves into teams and they were like, okay, you guys take up this flower. You guys take that yeah. flower. And then, you know, they'll do it. That's amazing. Good on you for inspiring the youth. Shout out to Denmark yeah. for involving the youth in this project. Yes. Yeah, absolutely, man. Oh yeah, it, it, it's a fun experience, definitely. It's interesting to, to be able to deal with the kids that are six, seven, and eight graders. Mm -hmm. so, so, I get a bit, way, way better response with the six graders than I do with the seven and eight graders. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's interesting. Sense. Yeah, they're all the six rays are all into it. They have been doing a lot of the work. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's cool. Uh once I finish this one, we're gonna move on to the next one and do a different theme on the same school. What's uh what's the next theme? Uh so this time the, the principal wanted me to represent more of the African American community. Because mm -hmm. that's what that's what the um the demographic of the school is. It's mostly mm -hmm. Latinos. An African American. So she wanted to have to make sure that they both get mm -hmm. represented. You know, that they both get a point. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I like uh today's Dia de los Muertos, by the way. I really like the inspiration for like, you know. Yeah. Oh, I'm the big skulls into and everything. Is that is that one of your favorite things to to sort of draw? Yeah, definitely. Anything cultura related, mm -hmm. anything that comes through from my from my roots, uh, I like to show it. And uh, That's I like both. Yes, and beautiful. you know they can they can erase they can erase they can erase the mural, but they can't erase this moment. You know what I mean? Nope. They can. I know. They look can, at them. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't erase That's that him. moment, and you can't erase the feelings that people got and seeing your artwork and and seeing you create that and seeing it evolve yep. and stuff like that. 
Yeah. Uh, that's nice. Uh, Rodiemo says Deadlock Angels, uh, Deadlock Tattoo Arts Culture Legacy and Art for the Young Generations. Absolutely. Yes. Thanks for stopping by. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Legacy. That's a key word, man. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's been my, my, my word lately. I'm trying to build a legacy. I'm trying to leave something so that my grandkids could walk by and be like, oh, my grandpa did that. Oh. You know, my great grandpa, my, you know, one of my goals is to kind of end up in the history book. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're on your way, brother. You're on your way, for real. All, All right. right. Kudos. Good work. All right. Well, uh, like I said, on uh, November 9th, there's going to be a meeting uh, helping out the community to see what kind of options uh, you guys can take legally, as well as how to protect future artists, give them the knowledge, the know how, so that when they do approach something like this, that 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 they have a contract that they have a deal that they that they know their rights that they're not breaking any laws that they're doing everything they're they're, they're crossing all their t's dotting their i's taking the correct steps to do that uh november 9th we'll make sure that we post about it or follow at dental arts uh at dental tattoo arts um and thanks for coming by today man i appreciate you uh, taking the time today and uh you know I, I know you've been going through it for a little bit but uh, i know that you're going to come out stronger on the other end of this and we look forward to seeing you know the next bigger yeah. wall the next piece of art that you're going to create and how much passion uh you're going to put into it yeah thanks for being here and thank you for everything that oh, you yeah. do for the community don't look oh man thank you no thank you for having me it's a pleasure. thank you for right. giving me Thank you. All right, brother. All right. I'll see you. Hopefully, uh, yeah. stop. I'll talk to you guys soon, man. Thank you for coming by. I love it. Bye -bye. All right. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Can't promise anything. Oh, <laughs> right. man. But I love I love what you said, though. They they can erase the mural, but they can't erase, uh, you know, his legacy, the impact that he's having. Um, if anything, I think it makes the community stronger. So. Yeah, no. I when I when um I was in Barrio the other day for for an event, an art event, and I saw him there, and and that's the first time that I heard about it, and I was like, this is you know this is fucking horrible. Yeah. Um, I shared. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, I we shared. Um, I shared his Instagram and his uh, his thing here on the page. Um, but I'm sure everybody's already following him. That stopped mm -hmm. by today. Thank you guys. Leave a like on your way out or hang out with us. Yeah, yeah. hang out. Thanks. We'll <laughs> we're talking cheese made. We're talking about all kinds of stuff here, um, yeah. but yeah, it's it, it's it's a it's an incredibly shitty thing that happened. And, and like I said, I, even as a business owner, you buy a building, like yeah. it's got a fucking awesome ass mural on it. Like that's how is that not a positive? How is that not a net positive to your property? It's so pointless. Like you got to go out of your way to not want what a beautiful piece of art on your building for free. Yeah, you didn't. You trust Other me. Other races, like, let's be honest. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to assume who the owners are, but I don't know if they if they had a little bit more knowledge of the community and stuff. That they were buying the buying. Assume. You, you're assuming. <laughs> okay, you can yes. Assume. You can take the low road on this one. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. So um, anyway, um, yeah, November 9th, we'll make sure we post that information. But yeah, yeah we wanted sure. to make sure we had that luck on for this. And yeah. uh, that was basically the reason that we're powering through this podcast tonight. Para la gente, para la raza. Mi Man, gente. are you doing anything for Dia de los Muertos, by the way? Uh, this year? I, I, I don't know. Last year was the first year that I did like my little um, ofrenda. Oh yeah. Um. So, do you guys have one up, or when is it? Um. We did in this year. We. I mean, we. Last year we went all out. We did a seven tier ofrenda, um, and that was beautiful. But my sister, my sister had the the baby, and she's you know walking, running. So the seven tier friend that would not be, it would be dangerous. So we just decided to not do it. We were going to do a smaller one. Um, but we just decided not to do it this year. Um, I have my little cookie up there though, just for me with a little candle. So, uh, okay. RIP cookie. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, um, I don't, I'm not going to do anything huge. I'll probably just put up, you know, my dad's pictures and Tango's mm -hmm. picture, my dog, you know, yeah. and maybe leave out some snacks and some booze for them for tomorrow, nice. right? Mm hmm. You know, I'll be Thank here you. most of the day. Tonight, it today? tonight. It was technically last night and tonight. 
I thought it was November 2nd. No? I think you start, you put it up, on, you're supposed to put it up on October 31st, but you have until November 1st or whatever. And then, yeah, to that night to the 2nd. Yeah. Okay. So it's then. tonight until tomorrow is when they can come visit. Pretty right? much. Yeah. But then I also heard something that the 27th or the 28th was the day that it the was the dog easier, one, the dog day, right? I heard that too. And I was like, yeah. who came up with this? I was like, first of all, it should be the same day. Right. Mm, I don't know. I don't know, but isn't they, aren't the cholos Coco, and, the and the, Coco. right the the Alibra, the Ahibides, right? What are those called? Um, oh, yeah, the ch the cholos. Uh... Yeah, the cholos are the, the, aren't those the, the dogs and animals that that like guide you as well, but they help you. Yeah, it, exactly. They're supposed it. to guide you. It's part of it. So it's supposed to be the same night. I think they just probably wanted to give it a, a day. I don't know, kind of like how there's a national day of celebration for everything, but. Uh, same okay. thing. Listen, my dogs is always going to be on the same ofrenda as my cousins. <laughs> yeah. Or I saw some of the ofrendas uh, where it's like all this stuff for the dog and then the tío gets right here. <laughs> and the tío gets like a little... The tío gets like one little little, little part right over here. Like, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so, anyway, yeah. So that's what's happening right now. Yeah. Um, and uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Well, I wanted to pimp out my friend's thing real quick. Do you have a... Yeah, the link absolutely. Right, let cool. me just get to that. Let's pimp that out. And then that's yeah. just... Uh, I'm over here picking a couple of things here for our links, and then we'll get out of your way. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Yeah, Thanks thank for everybody. You. Dentlux followers, our followers, for hanging out. November 9th, they're going to have an event. Everybody check that out. To support. For sure, for sure. And as always, if you guys can leave a like wherever you're watching, it helps us out a lot. Yeah. Or give us a sub on YouTube. Anywhere it helps us out. All right. Sub, like, comment, everything, everywhere. So you are going to tell me about this, Sophia. Yeah. So basically, um, I was in a reality show a few years ago. I made a lot of cool queer friends. Uh, Michelle, is uh, she is a deaf lesbian um also a uh, director actress just all of it she's such an artist and um i believe real the series is about um yeah it's going to be a lesbian dramedy and it's i think it's an eight part series um and they recently released an indiegogo so uh if you want to play the video you can go ahead and play a little bit a little bit from there just go ahead and click the link that's michelle For those who are listening, hello, my name is Michelle Schaefer, and I am the original yeah, creator of Real. This is What's Real. A dramatic comedy about a deaf lesbian woman who dramatic leaps before she walks a dramatic comedy. and is hellbent on finding love. No matter how many times she ends up on the short end of the stick. A little fourth wall breaking. Mm -hmm. Real is about the human Love spirit. Mm -hmm. The ability to move forward after setbacks. To not let societal expectations hold you back. And to persevere when all okay. the odds are stacked against you. Real is about characters and life situations that everyone can identify with. Relatable life as seen through the eyes of a powerful yeah, woman gonna, with heart and determination. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's a game changer for the true Michelle Mary Schaefer. Yeah. She's amazing. She uh she's also a teacher uh for ASL. Uh it's amazing. Nice. Can uh, you can go ahead and minimize it? This is she if we wanna uh um, who want to just pimp hey, out a little really bit one of, shot the, of the benefits of uh, $59? All of us will one day look access. back and wonder if we truly made a difference. Okay. Yeah. You can get it for as little as $5. You can get a thank you. You can get a DB credit for $18. For credit, yeah. Uh -huh. Digital shout out for 36 Advanced screening for 84 So join us on this important journey. Lots of people. Signed posters. Those are that nice is what's real Those are nice. all right okay yeah, so you, you guys, got, you got, so, you guys uh, got options yeah. got options go support um yeah michelle schaefer is just an amazing person uh artist and this is a really good series uh i think a few a couple of the episodes um that were just kind of like pilot 
uh kind of like a proof of concept was is already on youtube so go check it out as well um but it's a really good show it's actually really funny because just the stuff that comes with uh you know with being deaf and queer is just so many little yeah dramatic very dramatic and intense moments but also it makes up for very quirky comedy and so yeah go check it out support love you michelle and yeah keep up the good work yeah nice option awesome you know Always willing to pimp out our friends' projects. Because mm-hmm. what, what the fuck else are we going to do, right? What are we going to do? It's a podcast. <laughs> so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We should, do, we should right. do our own projects. Is what we should do. Pimp us. <laughs> well, yeah. back to writing. Jesus. Keep the, San Diego, the San Diego Minute is sponsored by SoCal Tattoo Main Street. And That's La Regina del Casa del Loco. <laughs> yeah. Go get a burrito and then go down the road to get a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Oh. All very close. We're very close together. We're very close. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, go all, you just, you just, because all you got to do is get on the 54 and go across and then get on and just go one exit up on the five and you're there. Nasty city. Yeah. Baby. Yeah. yeah. At SoCal Tattoo Main Street and La Original Casa del Taco. I saw you guys had a little, um, a little event there or it was like a little party. Yeah. It was, a little, it, was like, or? it was a little, uh, I didn't go, but it was a little sale and event. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I just reposted it because that's what I do. I support. I pimp out. Um, I was not una- unable to attend, however, but I do what I can here. Because you got such an important job. Uh, uh, it's a job. It's where a would, it, it's a living. Where would the kids know where to go get tacos if you didn't tell them? You know? Exactly. Exactly. I got All right, them. Let- Let's just do a couple of fun things here on the way out there. Well, I did want to show this video that Jordan created for Joanna. Uh, he did a little oh, tribute yes. to her. Oh, dude. She was amazing. Can't hear it. Oh, sorry. Oh. A great shock to all of her friends and collaborators. You hear now? She wasn't just an amazing talent, but a great person and well-regarded by everyone who had the pleasure of knowing her. I'm sharing the link to a crowdfunding campaign set up to help her family pay for funerary expenses. And if you can contribute, it would be much appreciated. So to our friend Joanna, I'd just like to say, we love you, we'll miss you, and thanks for all the laughs. Earlier this year, I had the opportunity to collaborate with- Uh, Yeah, like I said- Still doesn't feel real. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a sad thing. Um, she did a movie. I mean, she was on her show. She was she was really coordinated in a lot of the virtual social media stuff for the festival. Mm-hmm. She would like you saw a little clip of her starting to dance. She got us to dance. For yes, a video she, was doing. she did. <laughs> uh, she was very in tune with everything that had to do with. She was always very quick to give advice about you know what you needed for videos for stuff like that. She was very 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 comprehensive in that. Um, and like I said, she had a commitment to the bit that was unparalleled. Um, her Comadre Pancha sketch. I maybe it was because I wasn't Mexican, but I always would be like, I don't I mean, I get it, but I don't like a hundred percent get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It was very but I was like, I I mean, I just like the fact that she goes for it, you know. It's niche. Uh she would she would definitely go for it. Um, she definitely had over time. She was she she was very well loved, and she also she was on a web series that got millions and millions of views. Mm-hmm. Um, so she did she did a damn thing while she was here. So we definitely sat to her go. All right, I want to see if we can do a couple of fun things here before we get out of here. Uh, a couple of panic cleansers, if you will. Uh before right. I go, before I no go, no numbers right tonight. Let me triple check that we don't have any. Probably not. I don't, I don't think oh, we've been no. promoting it too much. Yeah, you never know. Sometimes people just like have the That's link. That's true. I do. I do be telling people just save the link, and whenever you're bored on the toilet, yeah. have a thought. Yeah. <laughs> well, definitely, we're gonna have to get into the Jada and Will love at some point, but we don't have enough time to jump into that. No, or energy, Jesus. But yeah. yeah. No, no. We definitely Th- need more energy and passion. Thankfully, that's like evergreen. So <laughs> it's like the gift that keeps on giving. So yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll, we'll definitely paint that out at a time. The other stuff that I had, but we don't have time for is Britney Spears and all her Justin Timberlake stuff. Maybe we'll we'll catch yes. up on that next week. Maybe we'll just do a cheese map episode next week. And yeah, let's do that. Let's just catch up a bit. Catch up on stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's see. Margot Robbie hit the wall. No. 
Uh, that's bad. Uh, Travis Kelsey bought a six million dollar mansion to impress Taylor Swift. Oh I guess my that. god! Oh my god! Make, save that one. Yeah. Oh, there's there's <laughs> the a. That is a full yeah. subject. I can do. I can. Yeah. I know. Dizzy, I can do a Lizzie, on it. Let's see if you if you're available next week. We can yeah. come tackle <laughs> come some through. tackle some stuff here. We might right. debate uh, it out. I don't know. I do think I have the unpopular opinion there, so we'll see. I don't know. You have the unpop. Wait, are you pro Jada? Mm-hmm. Are you team Jada? Are you team Jada? I don't oh, want to say believe. that much, but oh, okay. All Let's right. just say I'm not pro Will. Listen, Let's say and- that much. I don't know if this is the reason that we're both sick right now, but apparently oral sex is worse than smoking for throat cancer. Uh, doctor claims. <laughs> <laughs> what? I could, uh, but like, go, but like um, yeah. I'm assuming that's p- penis in mouth, right? Because that. No, no. Did you remember? Where, remember where? Because my was it Michael Keaton yeah, that that was that was that got the throat cancer, and he said oh, it was yeah. from eating. He said it was from going down on old girl. Um, it's worse for men and lesbians, I would assume. Yeah, and lesbians. I, I, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa. Yeah, Wait, but why? It's, it's, Give it's, me the science, it's, it's, HPV. All right, so ah. uh, a young doctor says oral sex is a great, is greater risk factor than smoking and development of throat cancer. Uh, made a declaration. I mean, it's on TikTok. Are you saying number one proven threat? I said what I said. The American Science Society does cite oral sex as one of the potential causes of throat cancer, given that the human... Papillomavirus, virus known as the HPV, can be transmitted during the act. Mm. So no more going downtown, Sophia. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta make. T- we just gotta, we just gotta test for HPV. Is what I'm hearing. This is all, it's gotta- all I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? You're like, listen, it's listen, about to go. All, it's all about to happen. We need you to go ahead and just. I need a little swab. That's how <laughs> I want to go. Listen. You want to go to yeah? Listen, man. If listen. if we can't if we can't do this, choose. then what what is the what's yeah. life? What is life? What is life? If what is there even? Sex. What is there even to do? <laughs> you know who's safe? Um, who's very very healthy and safe? Uh, uh-huh. DJ Khaled. Oh, because he doesn't go down. He doesn't. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a, he doesn't go downtown. <laughs> Yeah, he's very yeah. proud of it. Very, he's very yeah. I mean, that's that was a thing back in the day. Like, oh, I don't, I don't do that. Well, I'm, I'm the king. She only goes yeah. down on me. Yeah. So yeah, Michael yeah. Douglas in uh, in 2013, he's married to what's her name? Uh, Not anymore, right? Catherine, Catherine, Catherine Zeta, Zeta Jones. Jones. Imagine having Catherine Zeta Jones and and blaming her. I'd be like, sorry, oh. girl. Yeah. Come on, Catherine Zeta Jones. Come on, that's I mean, worth it. That's worth that's, it. If I ever it. seen it, worth it, worth it, worth it. Anyway, so just giving you guys, just giving you guys, ladies, a heads up. We're gonna need a swab. <laughs> we need a swab test before we can go down. <laughs> we need a swab. Oh, Safety first, then team. I will say though, on that note, since we are now, you know, spreading mm-hmm. this inf- information um, mm-hmm. on HPV. Uh, a lot, a huge percentage of the way that women get HPV is because their male sexual partners don't get tested often enough because men don't show symptoms. So mm. men, please get tested often just in case if you're a carrier, you probably won't suffer. But women do suffer pretty badly from HPV. Like we get really bad symptoms, etc. So just so you don't spread it and you know that you, you know, have it, please get tested, everybody. Okay. Or you can make the vaccine mandatory for young girls is also another way to do that, right? And men. I mean, everybody. Anybody, like, I can get an HPV. Yeah, I mean, you right? Can, yeah, I, men, are, men can get HPV. It's just you guys don't get super severe symptoms. So you, a lot of times you don't know you're carrying it. So we don't get symptoms with carrier, but then we could give it to somebody. And then that's somebody. Give it to, to, and, to somebody, exactly. And, you, yeah, you, yeah. and, and that's you get how it, it spreads. And then, you, and then you see that girl again. And then you're like, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, hey. ah. In math, yeah. the math is mathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. everyone, please take care of yourselves. I know two men in yeah. my life that uh, have HPV. One showed symptoms, one did not. Mm. Um, and the one that did not spread it to many people. Um, mm. Horse. Yeah. So just saying, get tested if you're going to be out in the streets. Get tested, everybody. It's fun. Yeah. All right. A couple <laughs> more uh, palate cleansers here, Boz, before we go. Uh, is this or is this not a positive response from your wife? 
Could you ever cheat on me? Can you hear that? Absolutely. Yeah. That's why you don't make dumb decisions like talking to guys one on one or hanging out in like compromising situations. You're not a human being. You're a human being. And I, I'm sorry, babe. I don't know if this is hard for you to to hear, but everybody is absolutely <laughs> capable of infidelity in the right slash wrong circumstances. Oh, okay. That's why boundaries are so important. You're never going to see me in a situation, even if people think I might be too strict. I don't care because I'm not taking that chance. Amen. I'm not putting myself in a position to even be close to a position to potentially fall to temptation. I'm going to keep it 100 because anyone is capable of cheating, but I will not be cheating on you. Excellent. I love that. I love you. That was damn mic drop oh my god mm. yeah is that bad bad like uh liz said um that's bad bad i think that's a i think that's a very honest answer i mean humans are gonna human and i think she's correct that if if ever someone can say i would never cheat ever but everyone is capable of doing it if you are put in a compromising co position you know even if you think but, you're strong enough to not do it with a celebrity and under certain circumstances on the under the moonlight, I don't fucking know what you need, right? But yeah. everyone is capable of it. So I do love the messaging of boundaries are very important because, yeah, don't put yourself in a compromising situation. And that doesn't go for just cheating, but for anything, really. Yeah, no, I was looking more at the sort of like the reactions because some people were like, oh, this is like the trad wife, like, you know, Hey, the you know, possessive. the possessive husband, like, yeah, right. that's why, that's why I don't go on vacation with the girls and I don't go on girls night and I don't put myself in those positions. Right. And, and that's when it can get a little unhealthy, but again, everyone's barometer on that mm -hmm. is going to be totally different, which is why everyone should talk and see where the line is before you enter anything just because <laughs> all, all bro wanted was a no <laughs> yeah i would never cheat on you no like yeah of course you got to trust people um but in that you have the trust that they are not going to you know put themselves yeah. or in that situation whether you know whatever that be if that means that you can't drink with your girlies because you can't trust yourself to go on a girl's trip and not cheat yeah. then you know that about yourself and that's cool that's self-aware <laughs> you know um yeah. if you're totally cool in that situation yeah, yeah, yeah. like just know your, your boundaries and don't push them. And I think she's correct. I think that was a very cold way of saying it. Like, just very, like. Like, yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Yeah. We're, put, we, put, we all could. Don't put booze and hot dudes in front of me. We are all capable of murdering people as well if given the right circumstance. We just don't know what that is until we get there. And so it's good to know the boundaries, right? The bound. Yeah, that's absolutely Let's it. Let's just know our lines. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's do this one. All right. Una aventura. That's right, puta. <laughs> I need to move these two kilos of cocaine to my connect in Denver. Can I don't know why I thought this was funny. Yeah. Anyway, that was just something that I saw that I thought nice. was interesting. Slutty door. door. Girl, slutty yeah. door. You, slutty you love door. to see it. I love All it. All right, this is a this is uh uh Dad of the Year award here. Island. What is that? He comes in and he sees that they the, his kids set up like a trap. There's for him. no way they did that. What the fuck? Let me call him. Yeah, act like they got like you guys like they got you. Oh, let me call him. Oh, he plays it up. Look at that joy. That is so sweet. So wholesome. Oh, oh my god. They're losing their minds. Oh, this is so wholesome. Oh my god. Hugging each other. That's so yeah. so wholesome. So wholesome. Uh. All right, and then let's child. see. Ah, so so good, so good. It's so it's let such me see. Good times. <laughs> uh, kids love that stuff. All right, and then the last thing that I have on, and let me just make sure that we don't have any no namas ways before we get out of here. Okay. Uh, go to my forms. No namas ways. Yeah, we're but we got a hard out. We got to get out of here. We have a hard out anyway. So yeah. even if we do. Whoa. <laughs> Twenty. No kidding. What? 
Oh no. Okay, these are. I was like, I thought we had three, but it's like, no, these are the ones from last year. Last. Oh, one okay. Year. Okay. All right. All right. So we can talk about this for a couple of minutes, and we get out of here. Okay. Uh, this is a. This is something that went viral recently. Tell me if you guys took a look at it. This is a list of restaurants women refuse to go on a first date on. Oh right, I read about this. And then there was a San Diego version that came out too, which was no like, way. Yeah, there was a San Diego version. Shut the fuck. All right, but here's a list of places women absolutely refuse to go on a first date. And thank you to the ladies who reached out to me to help me on the list. Uh, Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle. Okay. No. Olive Garden, the movies. What the fuck oh. is wrong with the movies? Yeah, the fuck. Your house. Uh, any fast food chain. Well, you could have just eliminated like fourteen of those if you were going to yeah. put any fast food chain. Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, I Red would... Lobster. Girl, girl. You're gonna turn down Wingstop? You're I down... love a good Buffalo Wild Wings. Come on. You gonna turn down the Cheddar Bay biscuits at Red Lobster? I love chilies too. What is up? This is this is broke people phobic. Yeah, like <laughs> I feel attacked, and I also feel like y'all standards are way too high. All right, IHop, this is IHop why you're Denny's, single. <laughs> a breakfast date at Denny's or at at IHOP or That's like. Sweet. Like going out to the movies, like a late, like let's say you guys work late, you go to a late movie and then go to Denny's at like one in the morning. What the yeah. fuck is wrong with that? Also, bowling, I love that. The gym, yeah, Liz, yes, thank you, Lizzie. Like it's the first date. Why would you want to go somewhere expensive if it's the first date? Like go somewhere where you Church. can make a quick exit. Go to go to Starbucks. Like quick exits, you guys. It's the first date. Ice cream dates. Come on, that's so fucking that's, in the summertime. Who, Ice cream dates are the best thing ever. Are you kidding me? You're just you just get, okay. have to have a cone with someone. And family if you like them, you keep it going. I don't know if you take somebody to a family function on your first date. That's I, creepy. That, that's a red flag. I agree. Movie night. That's just a hookup. That's a not hookup. a date. Okay. Uh, somewhere that requires a long drive. It's mm -hmm. pick up your mind. You don't want to go anywhere close. The thing that's close is Chili's. Chili's yeah. is close. The yeah. nice restaurant is far away. Bowling nightclubs, hookah bar. A bar just for drinks. The... That's like the most popular. It's just like, okay, Waffle, let's go yeah. get a drink. Let's Waffle go get a House. Drink. Sports. And there was a website that was called, my friend created it as part of a marketing class. It was called Take Me Out to the Ball Game. It was just a thing where you could go on dates with people that were going to take you to a baseball game. Ooh. And it was, a, it was a good concept. I like that. Yeah, why not? Sports events is good. Listen, oh, yeah. actually, movies might be a little bit overrated just because you don't have time to talk to each other and stuff. I mean, like that's that. the same thing with the sports event, though. Like, I'm like, yeah. it depends what your vibe is, but like, yeah. a bar for just drinks is perfect. You just go out, you get a drink, you get to know each other, and if you like each other, you stay. <laughs> you order yeah. food, but yeah, this is giving me uh the oyster lady. This is giving me I want to go to an expensive place so that they can pay for all of it. <laughs> Yeah, listen, like, like, or like that one video where the girl orders a bunch of stuff. She's like, you know, I'm gonna fuck, you know. Like, hey, I'm ordering. Yeah, hey, go ahead, order, please. <laughs> Take your time. That was another meme that I saw. Oh. Um, San Diego specific places. Who cares? You know, that's the same thing. Like, don't worry about it. It's well, I can't, I'm kind of an intrigued. I kind of want to know what is it. Send it to what me. Say, what the? Yeah, I'll, I, I think I say I didn't have it saved, but basically it was like PB. <laughs> like pb or oh, like you know okay. like uh what's that called like uh tj oyster bar or something like that or, or like you know okay yeah it was just like a ghetto fab listen man if you yeah. if you turning if you turning down ice cream and the cheddar bay biscuits we're not on the same length anyway and chili's has a two for i forgot how much but it's so cheap you guys dollaritas are back at applebee's dollaritas you gonna turn down dollaritas Y'all are absolutely insane. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, come on, man. We're in a what? tough with San. Plus, San Diego is the most expensive city in the fucking world to live in. Mm -hmm. in the U.S. So I'm moving. We're gonna have to sacrifices need to be made. Yep. So exactly. Y'all gonna have to lower your standards. <laughs> Dating or, is expensive. Let me tell you. Or I'm gonna have to find me a sugar mama. Yep. You and me both, bud. Because that shit, both. yeah. <laughs> well, shit. Listen, huh? at least we had, we had. Well, at least we had a good co-host date the other night when we went to La Bamba Room. That was fun. That was so good. Thanks for taking me out. I was I was a little depressy spaghetti, but that was nice. That yeah, was good. It was good times. It was good times. No show. Um, 
But anyway, yeah, that's our show for today, guys. Thank you for everybody that tuned in. Uh, shout out Dent Luck Arts, Dent Luck Arts Tattoo. Uh, you can find them on Instagram. We'll make sure mm-hmm. that when we post the link of the show, we have all that info for their next meeting um, and so that everybody can come by. Thanks for stopping by, Lizzie. Lizzie. Yeah, thanks, Lizzie. Applebee has Dollaritas. Goddamn right they yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with grabbing coffee, something small. You exactly. know, there's, yeah, yeah, like. Go to a Starbucks. Listen, and and I had a couple of things like these set up because the manosphere and the red sphere and the and the lady sphere are colliding because there's some shit that each side has right and there's each side that has very wrong. So we need to do a dive into that because some of the stuff that that the lady sphere wants is sort of unrealistic expectations. But and some, that, a lot of stuff, a lot of the red pill stuff, examples but, of some of the stuff here. But here's the thing. Right. If we're going to go by the manosphere's perspective on all women want is money and a man with money and we need to be gym, money, six investing, foot, six foot tall, six foot whatever, $100,000 yeah, yeah. $100, Then a by, year. That, by that logic, those women that would not stoop so low as to have an Applebee's first date are correct, right? Like an alpha would want a woman who would want something expensive. It's it's so fucking convoluted. It's weird and stupid and, stupid and it's convoluted. So fucking it's stupid. all stupid. It's all it's so the fucking stupid. Line. And and every fucking episode is the same. Them fucking bringing. Oh my god. Anyway, we can. Anyway, high value. We'll talk, some uh, yeah. Listen, and we are, and as your two high value podcast hosts here, yeah. uh, we want to let you guys know uh, we love you. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Thank you, guys. We're gonna go drink some tea and rest. Uh, Bear we'll flu. Be, We'll be back. Yes, me too. We'll be back next week. Uh, Lizzie, hopefully, will be on. We'll talk cheese We'll do a whole big cheese man. Jill and wait, uh, wait. Will and Jada, mm-hmm. Travis, Kelsey, love all that good stuff. Let's do it. Have a good night. We love, love you. Ya. Peace out. Hasta luego. Vamos, papá, hay que irnos. Me estoy aguantando desde que pusieron el domo. Puedes esperar. Muchas personas trabajaron en esta película y solo quieren que te aprendas sus nombres de memoria. Y yo quiero asegurarme de que ningún animal resultó lesionado durante la filmación de esta película. ¡Piu! ¡Listo! ¡Uy, palomitas en el suelo! ¡Wow! Pero parece que Maggie tiene algo que decir. Pero es la primera palabra. ¿Qué es que la